Hey, Franz. You're right. Well, are you here to socialize, or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie. I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the Dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Good job, I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? Maybe not, but we'll be cautious. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the Circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. According to everything I've seen, the Circle can't control mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is a noble ideal. But I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Why are you watching me like that? You have all seen. The same markings that the Dalish have. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood.
Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmer and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Figures. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. Andraste alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. Can you tell me anything else? Wilmud told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmud. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. In these trying times, the Knight Commander is doing what she needs to.
Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah? Your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. What kind of demons? What did they look like? I don't know what they look like. I didn't actually see any of them. But Kelder told me to run, to get away so they couldn't make him hurt me anymore. Please don't kill him. It's not his fault. Please. I'm taking Kelder back to Kirkwall. They'll figure out what to do with him there. Maybe they can help him. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me... and what I've done... hidden away. I'm disgusted by the both of them. The Magistrate is supposed to protect the people of the city. And that includes the Elves. Father is a good man. He tried to help, to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That elf girl, she had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her, she was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good, so pure? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. It's obvious that you're not well. You need help. No. I'm not mad. It's the demons. Real mages suffer enough without charlatans like you making it worse. 
Coward. Doesn't even have the balls to own up to his own depravity. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. First smart thing he said. Give him what he wants. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. If nothing short of killing you will stop this, then so be it. Goodbye, Kelder. Some people are simply broken. My little girl, I didn't dare hope. Did you find that monster? Is he dead? We could bring him back as the undead and then kill him again. No, that's all right. I'd rather he stay dead. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. Please, find Karen good. Though the lands suffer a thousand wrongs, the Maker yet notices the small...
Andraste be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! Make her preserve us! I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. But I'd not thought one of our own would be susceptible. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I have been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. Trust and leniency? Is that what you call it? I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilmot's. Do you know where Karen is? He also disappeared. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded.
Someone's always trying to take over at night. But someone else will always pay for their removal. something honey a couple of Templar recruits went missing they were last seen here you'll have to be more specific we do a lot of business with the Templars perhaps a few coins can loosen your lips are you trying to bribe me you know not all the girls here are for sale I'm going to pretend that didn't happen we have a lot of missing Templars if we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. Let me look through the books. Wilmud, Karen... Here we go. Wilmud came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the Tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmud's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Cora and Catriola are being horrible to Isabella, you never talk about the mage's plight. What's there to say? There's plenty to say. And you say enough for the lot of us, don't you think? So you're telling me you have no opinion on the matter? None whatsoever. That can't be true. No, I'm afraid I'm really this shallow. Iduna, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen. Wilmud. Wilmud. That doesn't sound familiar. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. What, uh, whatever do you mean? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Are you certain we can't postpone this, Hawk? You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? You really can be quite a bore. You know that, right? I'm here on business. Karen. Wilmot. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will not be toys. How did you? Oh, shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from... elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, monsieur. 
Please don't kill me. You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic... Tarani put me here, to send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary, Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Keren weeks ago, but after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarani's idea. Tell me about Tarani. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That, that's all I know. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. We need to go to the Sanctuary. Some blood mage bitch needs to pay for this. Like I said, we never talked. Markets closed. Back in the morning. Eldens, free marchers, all shins are the same down here. We should go carefully. Who knows what they are? <laughs>
wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. Go ahead. Try to give me to your demons. Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. The demons are using you. Fight them. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. So, when do we find out if this one's got a demon inside? The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. What was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm alright. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen... Maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder.
Just keep walking. Don't like Dark Tan? Die and make room. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. The demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Not all mages are like that. True. Not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. Mages are humans and elves, just like the rest of us. Many might go their whole lives thinking that. But if even one in ten falls to the lure of blood magic, they could destroy this world. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. A good mage, a good man. It was a guest. It's all Chantry law to make him tranquil. Your mother. Busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories, go to her.
Did Lothering have an alienage? Where did the elves live then? Stables and outbuildings mostly. I think I like alienages better. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? Looks like a fight!
What do you know? I was told my old friend Thrask was advising you folks to seek me out. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke tab. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the Order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though, not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. Charity to a point, I see. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. So your good friend's a kidnapper? Can't say I'm surprised. Not a friend. Just someone who's not afraid to try this business. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Let's make this quick! Two arms! 
Be careful! Job in there. In fact, get rid of any other. And I'll be the hangman. Rain is not the patient type. 